This week's Tech Tool of the Week is Windows Desktop Search. Let's start by going to the Windows Desktop Search desk bar and clicking in the search window once. This brings up the Windows Desktop Results, which includes a search history and some shortcut tips. Let's go ahead and type in one letter to see what the results look like. As you can see, the results are categorized into familiar categories such as programs, music, and files. I'll continue to type in letters to narrow down my search. As you can see, the search results change in real time. I'll now go back to just one letter and with these results I'm going to click on the search desktop button. After clicking on the button, the main Windows desktop search window opens. Located on the right side are there a number of results from my search. Directly below the cursor is a preview of the currently selected search result. On the left side are there locations that I can search in. Following that are several filters that I can apply to my search results in order to see results by certain file types. As you can see here on the right, my results have now been narrowed to the certain file type. Additionally, I can search the web for my same search term. Let's go down to the Windows Desktop Search System Tray icon and left click on it once. Now let's select Indexing Status. In the Indexing Status window, you can see the current status of your file index on your computer. Now let's go to the Start button and let's select Search. In here you can see that Windows Desktop Search has taken over the default Windows XP search utility. The interface is a combination of the previous Windows Desktop Search utility and the new version of Windows Desktop Search. On the left you can see the familiar interface of the previous Windows Desktop Search utility. And you can still go to the bottom and click on the preference setting to bring up the old interface. And that's Windows Desktop Search.